Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we're going to see how to apply electronic travel authorization for business purpose to Sri Lanka. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, a uh, lot of countries are navigating to e-visa, ETA or similar things because it's very easy to apply and ease and convenience like for both. So in front of you, I've opened official Sri Lankan electronic travel authorization site. So here we have gone and here you can see that ETA. OK. Uh, how to apply? So I click on apply button. It opens a new tab. OK. So you have terms condition. Once you agree, you come here now you have categories you can apply it for tourist tourism business and for transit so let's we are going for business so we'll apply for as an individual okay all right so four tabs it is submit first is fill the details second is review third payment option and then fourth confirmation and if it is done you are good like if it is granted you are good so first and whatever all the information that I fill in this are uh, sample. OK, they are not real. So don't confuse it with anything real. OK, so let's go, guys. So surname, family name. So I'm just putting sample. Date of birth. OK, I'm just putting sample, guys. Nationality. COVID vaccination question, country of birth. Some fields are not mandatory, so I'm skipping them, but you should provide that if you have it. There's a sample, OK, not real. It's too early, right? <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's OK. OK. Child information in parent passport. OK. If you click on enable, it's going to ask for these questions. So like uh, like if he's going along, he doesn't need to provide children information travel information have uh, where where you have been during last 14 days before this travel call uh, in which country you were so i'll select this arrival date intended oh i'm sorry guys yeah that's simpler purpose of visit participate in business meeting or negotiation i'll select this description provide correct information not like this i'm leaving this but you should provide that contact details of the applicant company telephone number wow only this field is mandatory but provide on the number otherwise how they'll identify of sri lankan company okay for sri lankan company they have made it mandatory declaration do you have a visa this oh you are not eligible for visa why maybe because of the Citizenship, may not sure. Let me check it. I'm just checking. OK. Let me see if I can click. Oh, because I was selecting yes. OK, fine, fine. Do you have a multiple entry visa to Sri Lanka? Are you granting of validity or obtained an exchange? So it's not because of nationality, it's because I was selecting this. So it's OK. You can again read guidelines to confirm. Are you granting of the validity? No. If I select yes to any of this, yeah. So that was the message. It's not because of nationality. OK. To confirm the information is correct. And I'll go to next. Valid passport number. Oh, passport number missed. Again, this is a sample, guys.
contact email where oh email address is also mandatory sample guys okay now you need to provide and check the details as uh, fee is given and you can confirm then it will go to the next screen where you can pay and from there it goes so obviously i'm not going to do that but you got an idea so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel thank you